Yo guys, what is up, Blade here, and following back with a new video, and before we start this tutorial, I want to say that we are almost close to 20,000 subscribers, and basically, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe right now, because there is going to be a huge giveaway coming up for you guys pretty soon, so yeah. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to record your computer screen for free, pretty much since I primarily upload tutorials and gameplay videos, which are recorded on my computer, so many of you have been constantly asking me how do I record my screen on pretty much every video that I upload, so I decided to make this tutorial to possibly help you guys kickstart your YouTube channel and uh, let you guys get started on recording your gameplays and tutorials and whatnot. So yeah, the program I'm going to be using will also be really helpful for making screencasts, recording gameplay, and even live streaming as well. So without any further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. Alright, so what you want to do is obviously get the program itself, so you want to go to your internet browser and you want to type in obsproject.com or you can click the link in the description below. And once you're here, you want to download the Windows 7 or 8 version, it will work for both. If you have Windows 7, it will work for that. If you have Windows 8, it will work for that. Um, if you have a Mac or a Linux, you can check those out, but this is going to be primarily a Windows tutorial. So yeah, I believe it will still work on Windows 10 as well if you're running the RTM or beta version of that or if you're watching this feature. So anyways, I'm um, just gonna click that. I'm just gonna start a download and you're gonna pretty much save the installer, but I'm not gonna do that because obviously as you can see here, I already have it right here. And uh, But yeah, so you're just gonna hit save and it should just uh, download the installer. You just wanna double click the installer and install the program. And after that, you should get this icon here. Just find it wherever you saved it. And you wanna double click the icon and it should start up the program. Now it might update when you start it up or whatever, just let it do that and just launch OBS again. Alright, so once you got the program up, it should look something like this, and um, the first thing I would do is where it has the mic over here, if you plan on using your mic to do a voiceover of your gameplay or whatever, just make sure that it's all the way up, and where it has the speaker, make sure that it's all the way down, or halfway, that's what I would put it as a good balance, so yeah, so what you want to do first is go to settings, and I'm just going to pretty much take you through all the settings here, um, we're going to go to gen general to advanced, we're going to skip these three here because those are streaming related, but uh, yeah, so uh, on the general tab, what you want to do is where this is setting profile just, uh, name this recording setup so I'm gonna hit add and there we go now anytime you want to make another uh, settings for your streaming for say so you can make one of that and just uh, name the streaming and switch back and forth so that's pretty good to do that so um, anyways after you got that done we're going to encoding and make sure your encoder is selected on this right here uh, make sure you're using CBR and enable that right there as well so where it has the max bitrate what you want to do is put 8000 if you are planning to do 1080p 30fps video so a full 1920 by 1080p 30fps uh, video would be 8000 kilobits or that translates into 8 megabits per second now i do have a chart up on the screen right now showing you all the um uh correct bit rates that youtube recommends for uploading on youtube so um, I would use that, so if you were, say, if you're trying to do 1080p at 60fps, that would be 12,000 kilobits per second, I think, I'm not too sure, but I'm just going to put it back to 8,000 um, right here, and just use the chart to um, put it however you want it. So if you want to do 720p, you would put the number for that over there. So um, where it has the bitrate? For the audio channel or encoding just make sure that is on 128 and also be sure the channels is set to stereo now youtube does recommend you putting the bit rate above 300 when you're using stereo channels but i would just keep it at 128 for a smaller file size and a side note anytime you're recording with this program and you're lagging um what i would do is go to encoding and keep on decreasing whatever number you put over here until you stop getting like a high encoding error or something like that but that's what uh, all the advice i can give you there so we're going to move on to broadcast settings here and by default it should be on live stream so we're going to switch that to file output only and now it should have a random file path here what you want to do is click on browse and then make a folder anywhere you want on your computer I would just make it on the desktop for uh, quicker access so just right click new folder record it um, name it like recordings or something but um, also side note if you have a uh, second hard drive I really recommend you actually making the folder on the on your second hard drive So it puts less stress on your primary hard drive if you are when you're recording But if you just have one hard drive, I would just make the uh, folder um, on your primary hard drive and just um, choose that folder and once you choose that folder where is this file name you want to type in dollar sign T and then you want to make sure the save as type is mp4 file so I'm gonna hit save on that and there we go and we're pretty much done with and right here was his base resolution um so what you want to do is right click on your desktop here go to screen resolution and where it says resolution drop that down and uh 
check what is your recommended uh, resolution and if it's below 1920 by 1080 what I would do is just we'll go right ahead and uh, switch that to 1280 by 720 right there if your um, monitor can only handle up to I mean if your monitor is below 1080p but if you do have a 1080p resolution monitor I would just keep it at 1920 by 1080 and the aspect ratio should change uh, according to the resolution and here is 16 by 9 what you want to do is keep the resolution downscale on none the FPS here uh, says 30 now you can keep it at 30 but YouTube does allow 60 FPS gameplays to be uploaded or just 60 FPS videos in general so if you're planning to record in 60 FPS just type in 60 there but if you do that if you do put 60 over here just go back to encoding hit yes and change your bitrate to whatever will match that so uh, just look back at the chart again and for uh, look up 60 FPS and put in that number instead but we're gonna go back to video here and I'm just gonna change that to 30 because I'll just keep it at that um, where it says disable arrow now if you don't have the fastest computer in the world I would check that then with that we're gonna go on to audio hit yes and then here we go so your desktop audio devices should be on default just leave it at default and where it says microphone if you have a USB microphone or any type of microphone plugged into your computer go ahead and choose to have the blue Nessie uh, USB mic plugged in so I'm gonna choose that to do my voiceovers and stuff but um, if you don't have a microphone just go ahead and disable that or if you don't want to add a voice just go ahead and disable that or just leave it at default if you're uh, if you're using a laptop which has a built-in microphone but I'm just gonna choose that right there and um, make sure Sure that is unchecked that is checked and this is all the same then we're going to go on to hotkeys here hit yes and over here where's to start recording and stop recording you can actually set a specific key to do that so if you want to start record I would just put like a, a two keys over here that would be uh, quicker access to um, getting you start recording and stop recording but um, you can also just use the program so that's what I'm gonna do for this tutorial so I'm just gonna clear that and make sure that push to talk is unchecked over there as well now we're going to advanced we're gonna hit yes and um, over here with this x264 CPU preset make sure that is on very fast it should be on that by default but if you have a uh, faster processor in your computer a faster CPU I would actually go lower to medium or slower for like if you have an x99 chip or an Intel Xeon or something like that but it should be on default and very fast, just leave it at that. If you have a really slow processor, I would just go on ultra fast or super fast, but I'll just leave it at that and make sure your latency tuning factor over here is set to 20. We're gonna apply over here and hit okay and I'm pretty much done with the settings. Now we're gonna go over how to record and all that stuff. All right, so if you guys want a tutorial on how to use this program to stream, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, so what you want to do is where it says scenes and you have the box right here, you wanna right click add scene and name this setup one there we go now we can add uh, start adding sources here so first I'm gonna go through the monitor capture so what you want to do is right click on sources add monitor capture you hit ok on that and everything is good over here just um, if you want to hide your cursor just uncheck that but we're gonna hit ok and then you'll have a warning now if you don't have the fastest computer again and you're running Windows 7 or Vista I really do recommend you turning off your arrow if you have it on we're gonna hit OK on that and there we go we have it selected and if you hit preview stream right here we can see that it's showing our desktop so it's uh, so it's capable of recording now so we're gonna hit stop preview here we're gonna start recording so this is how you'll start your recording hit that button and there we go now we're just recording our screen and this is really good for uh, tutorials and stuff like that it's also good for re uh, capturing flash based uh, gameplay as you can see I have Agario right here you can you know just play Agario and do all that stuff so that's how you do that when you're done with your recording you wanna go ahead and open up that program and you wanna hit stop recording and there you go your file should then save to wherever you located your file path I have it right here and uh, yeah alright so now you're probably wondering what if I want to record a gameplay that uh, from a game that I download on my computer such as uh, any Steam game Minecraft or whatever it may be and uh, you can actually do that as well so what you want to do is where it says sources right click on sources go to add and you want to hit game capture and hit OK and this should pop up with this right here now you want to make sure before you did all of that you want to make sure that you already have your game open and uh, ready to go so I have Minecraft here so where's this application you want to drop that down and where it says Minecraft there we go I'm gonna choose that and if you're playing another game of course you want to choose the name of that game and hit that but I'm using Minecraft as an example over here so um where it says stretch image to screen just check that right there and you can again hide your cursor by unchecking that but that is okay so we're gonna hit okay there, right there 
and there we go now we have the game capture enabled and um, if you ever want to switch up to another game say you want you're done with playing Minecraft now you want to uh, now want to record CSGO or something you want to double click on game capture and then where it says application again make sure you're running the game that you want to record so if you're running CSGO just pick CSGO then that's how you would switch between games and stuff all right so now we want to do this uncheck monitor capture because we're going to be just recording gameplay now we're not going to be uh, recording our uh, monitor so we're not going to do that just going to uh, check that right there and we're gonna um, lower the game volume down a little bit and make sure that is up I simply pull up your uh, game that you're running in the background so I have minecraft here so we're gonna pull that up right there and if your game is not a game that can be windowed such as minecraft so if you're playing like I don't know any game that does not allow windowed screen uh, you just pretty much hit start recording and just pull up your game and you're pretty much good to go and make sure it's in full screen so you get the full uh, resolution as well but um, as you can see, this is windowed, so what you can do is actually hit preview stream, and it'll show you Minecraft. There we go, and everything looks good, but as you can see, the resolution is kind of low, and that's because the game is not in full screen. So we're going to uh, just go ahead and do that. We're going to stop preview here, and we know that everything is good to go. It looks pretty good, so we're going to hit start recording, and now it's recording our Minecraft, so we're going to hit... Um, make it bigger and then I'm gonna hit F11 on my keyboard here which should actually make it full screen and uh, now we're ready to start recording in full screen and uh, yeah so now I'm just gonna uh, load up my world here and do a quick um, video gameplay video for you guys so I can show you the file size and everything like alright so I'm now done with my recording so I can just exit out of the game here like so and then pull up my program here and we're going to just hit stop recording now you can also just hit the button that you designated to stop record if you have uh, set up the hotkeys as I showed you earlier, but you can just click that as well. So after you're done, um, if you've ever wanted to just go back to uh, recording your screen for tutorials or whatever it may be, you can just check that and check that off or vice versa. So that's how you would do that. Now if you ever wanted to add a uh, face cam to your gameplay videos, it's pretty easy to do that as well. So where's the sources? You're going to right click and add, then you're going to add video capture device, you're going to hit OK. Make sure your webcam is plugged in and select your uh, webcam from device. From here where, you, where it says change resolution, click on that and make sure you change it to something below the full resolution of your video so I would just stick with 864 by 480 uh, versus chroma chroma key if you have a green screen in your background you can actually check that and switch the color to your green screen and it will pretty much make your um, background go away so, uh, versus audio input device make sure that is disabled and we're gonna hit OK and there we go now make sure you have checked your game capture and your video capture device check the monitor off and what you want to do is preview stream so if I click on that it should turn on my webcam there I am here we go and um, I don't know okay let me pull up my game there we go we have Minecraft here now where says now if you make this bigger there we go uh, we can click on edit scene and we can actually make this smaller and just move it around to wherever you want it and that's how you do that so uh, yeah so we're gonna hit stop preview here and that's how you would add a face cam to your videos so now we're gonna uh, quickly go over the files here so your file should save to wherever you made that recording folder but for this tutorial I just saved it on my desktop here we have the gameplay video right here now if we go to right click properties right here and if we go to details we can see that uh, this file is full 1920 by 1080 it's still with the uh, 8000 bit rate here and um, it's in 30 FPS as you can see and the audio made it to as well so if you go to back to general now the file size is pretty big but it's still not that big compared to like fraps so a 10 minute 1080p 30 FPS gameplay video with 8 megabits per second bitrate will be somewhere in the ballpark of 600 megabytes which isn't again still a lot compared to fraps which makes like one gigabyte file for like five minutes which is crazy so this program is actually pretty good with the compression but if you guys want a tutorial on how to make that file size even smaller say if you're recording a really long gameplay and you want to upload that uh, file video to YouTube faster and you guys want a tutorial on that let me know with a like on this video and I'll be sure to do one of that as well but uh, yeah so if we play this video here we're gonna uh, minimize that and there we go so this is me playing Minecraft the gameplay looks pretty good and you're pretty much done with uh, this so now all they're left to do is pretty much open up your um, recording program 
I use Camtasia Studio. And then all you have to do is just import your gameplay video or your whatever you captured and there we have it there. And you're pretty much ready to edit this video. So that's pretty much how you do it guys. And um, if you like the video, hit thumbs up on this button. Um, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And I'll see you then guys, peace.